Hello game lovers, welcome back to another informational video. Today I would like to make a review of this device, which is called Rear Snow Cross Hair, and this one is the Rear Snow S1. First of all, what is it? Uh, this device claims to create some sort of compatibility between different consoles, platforms, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, and others. And uh, they also give you the chance to, to add multiple or different accessories like mouse, keyboard, joystick, and different stereo windows. Actually, uh, this device claims that you can use uh, a stereo wheel, for example, from Logitech that is made for PS3, and you can actually use it for PS4. In my case, the reason why I purchased this is because uh, I, I have the, the steering wheel from Logitech, which is made for Xbox One, and this is the steering wheel is G920. But uh, the, the steering wheel it doesn't work with all the racing games that I have. I'm also going to show you how to install it. I'm going to show where I purchased it from, how much it cost, and uh, I'm going to basically going to go through all the process uh, so that at the end of the day you decide if you need it or not. Uh, when, I, when I purchased my uh, Logitech G920, I was a bit disappointed in the fact that the uh, this steering wheel doesn't support all the games. So these are the games that I have that are working. The Crew 1, Dirt 4, Need for Speed Heat, Forza Horizon 4, Need for Speed Payback, Forza Motorsport 7, Project Cars works too. I've never tried it and uh, the Crew 2 for some reason I couldn't get it to work. There's something wrong with the game. It doesn't even start. But uh, I'm assuming it's working too. These are the games that are not working. Need for Speed Rivals, Forza Motorsport 6, Need for Speed 2019. You, you most likely heard about this latest uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. So 4K now. Uh, this was one of my uh, favorite games. I played on PS3 for years with the previous steering wheel from Logitech, Driving Force GT, and I had so much fun. And, uh, and uh, I was so excited to buy it for, for my new steering wheel, but I was completely shocked when I realized it doesn't work with the steering wheel. I want to show you the link. I purchased this from Amazon, $150 Canadian dollars. Uh, it came sealed like this. It's called a Re Snow Crosshair Xbox 360 NS Switch, which is new. Okay, it looks like this. Re Snow S1. What's in the package? For manual, software, and support, visit this website. And features platform PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch. This is the device, it has two USB ports on one side, another USB port here, a micro USB port and a button. It comes uh, a nice USB cord, assuming this is the power cord. And uh, for the instructions, just visit the site manuals, software and support. First, let's set up this. I'm gonna to go to my computer and I'm gonna show you the steps. And uh, by the end of the day, we should be able to, to make a conclusion if this device is going to help with all these games. And the most important part is find out if we have any force feedback. Yes, no. The com slash start here and uh, if I want to see in English one user manual and this is the user manual what I'm interested major features technical specifications upgrade firmware chapter 2 
So this is the device. Uh, these are the ports, USB 1, 2, 3, what are they for? And chapter 2, upgrade firmware. Step 1, connecting Reusno S1 to PC while holding the button. So I'm going to connect this to my PC. Hold the button until the button indicator is stable green. It's green now, and now it says run flush tool on PC. Flush tool, there you go. You got a flush tool here. Okay. So the computer doesn't let me start this run anyway. Connecting is no upgrade firmware. This is the latest version 5.3.37 and 5.3100. Yes. Okay, it's upgrading pretty fast. Do not unplug, there is no device. I really successfully okay. It says there's a different setup for PS4 than it is for Xbox One for Xbox series. No special settings are required. There is also an app that you can use. So the app is called Real Snow Manager. I'm also gonna try it on iPad. Open. Would like to use Bluetooth, okay. No device was found. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on my settings on Bluetooth, I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna look for that device. Turn it off, turn it on. Try my connection, this is my steering wheel. I have the Xbox in this closet. I have my other controller there. Basically need a wire that comes from my controller and then plug it on the side of this device. And I get my steering wheel, which is this one. Plug it on this part here. And now all I have left is basically to, to connect my device to the Xbox. See a blue light turn into a green light now. The steering wheel started too. It's red. I'm assuming that it's thinking now. It's blinking the blue. It's beeping red now. I'm trying to get to the app so that I can uh, upgrade the gauge, I'm assuming. But I cannot uh, find a device on Bluetooth. I'm going to plug it. Plug it in. See the steering wheel. Now this is going to vibrate. There's actually no up for the rain snow on the Android devices. I can only find it on the Apple Store. It's basically looking for the app right now. And it's beeping. Finally found it. Error. Really? Really? What's the solution? No control is detected. What do you mean? Thanks God I finally got it. Uh, apparently it was this wire that was not right so I tried three different cables I finally managed to to find the one that was working and it was giving me error on this USB plug now I can finally see that the stairway is on 
and the controller is on and the app is working too so this is the app oh i'm nervous now i'm going into the steering wheel and we have forza 5 6 e4 speed 19 come on i want the uh, hot pursuit too so uh, i'm gonna add this device rebooting please open this up again discover my steering wheel I'm gonna add something else I'm gonna add some games Forza 6 add looks like it's on let's add more I want need for speed 19 add Project cars, gonna add. Let's see what other games they have. Battlefield, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Fortnite, Far Cry, Grand Theft Auto 5, Halo, Just Cause, Minecraft. Wow, lots of games. I only interested in the racing games and uh, I was hoping that I'm going to find the uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. So I don't feel any vibration on the steering wheel but because I have vibration in the seat I, I kind of like it. So the feedback is minimal. The steering wheel is pretty soft. It's like not, it's not like a full uh, feedback. The buttons are a bit weird and I notice for every single game they're all the same. Uh, for example, handbrake is the left paddle shifter. And uh, yeah, it works the same as it works with the controller. Very good. Forza Motorsport 6. Same. Minimal feedback. I only feel the vibration in my seat. Handbrakes A. for speed 2019 pretty much the same with all the other ones the feedback is minimal handbrake is the same the Left paddle shifter and mouse is A. It's fine. It feels really good. 
Ben gelin yes buraya. Bir hat müsüt. The handbrake is the left part of the shifter. Pretty much the same like the other ones, a bit, a tiny bit softer steering wheel. But you know, it's still fun. Really nothing. I don't feel anything when I smash those cars except for the vibration that I get in my chair. And that will compensate for the steering wheel. Other than that, it feels accurate. Just like the controller, no difference. Works well. It's acting a bit weird. At the beginning, I was able to to use uh, the controller, which is actually connected to the handbrake. Uh, but after a while, if I want to say, if I'm going to push NOS works i'm gonna try a couple of times there you go gives me an error turns off my steering wheel so apparently i cannot use both at the same time as long as i use only the steering wheel it's fine i read the manual prior to purchasing and then the chapter 5 you can find the steady well instructions under 5.3 notes says on xbox one expert mode supports all the games which can accept logitech g920 while this expert mode is still a beta version all features are supported except real force feedback it means this feedback on Xbox One is not as good as it's on PS4. I'm assuming the feedback is way better on PS4 than it is on Xbox One. This is what I purchased it from Amazon Prime. 150 Canadian dollars. And uh, I'm going to put the link in the description. Is it worth buying it? If you play a lot of games, not necessarily racing games, it's totally worth it. If you plan to use a keyboard or a mouse for your games. In my case, I'm only going to use it for the racing games. And so far, I only could find four that were not working with the steering wheel. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I'm still uh, happy with the product and I'm going to use it. If you think... 150 bucks is pretty much like two new games. So guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.